Hey guys, I just want to make a quick video of what I did today, what I made. So I took some, I ripped some pieces of wood and I cut all these little notches in there. Let's see if I can get one out here so you can kind of see it, you know, just like this. And then I got 24 phones on each row. So there's 48 phones sitting there. I know the wiring's a mess. I'm just testing right now. This is a prototype. I have a, a few things I would like to change and remake it if this is, is functional. I put a third row in there so I could have three sets of phones in front of one box fan. So far, it seems to be working good. I only have two block power blocks, so I need to order another one. And uh, then I'll figure it out. I probably will get some shorter wiring too once I get like it all situated. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys this before I was, I moved down here like nine months, a year ago, a little over a year ago. And it took me nine months to get high speed internet. They had to, I've tried at and I tried like Earthlink, but I was data capped and I couldn't use, like, I, had like, I don't remember what it was, like 25 gigs a month. So I didn't run these for like forever. Finally, found a company that runs high-speed fiber optic, and they pulled a line up to my house. So it took, though, the wait to get that done was forever. So anyways, finally got these things set back up. I had them on these two-by-fours just laying flat. And the other day, I noticed, like Saturday, I noticed that a couple phones were getting hot, so I put a fan on them. And uh, they'd been running pretty hard this week. They'd been doing pretty good. So I was just tinkering around. And I stood a phone up and I was like, you know what? Why don't I just do this and give it a try? So I've seen things on Amazon like and uh, people using them like where they just stand their phones up in them. But I have so many phones that and I don't like to spend money on stuff like I'd like to stay profitable. It's, you know, I don't like to spend money that I don't have to spend. So this was made out of uh, that's a stair tread going to my basement. It was broken. I just put some screws in it to hold it back together. A couple cut off two by fours. And then I made all of the, the tier decks that the phones are sitting on. And then everything else I've owned, you know, the f cables and stuff I've had forever. But, yeah, I just want to show you guys this. I'm just doing a little testing. So far, it looks really good. Um, I'm going to calculate the electrical cost of the fan and make sure it's worth it. I don't know if my hash rate will come up high enough that it'll justify the electric. But if the phones are cooler... It'll extend the longevity of the phones, so I'll probably just eat the little bit of electric cost and keep going. And for expansion, this is just quite handy because I mean, I mean that's just crazy. That's twenty-eight. That's forty-eight phones. That thing's only six inches deep and twelve inches high, and I can have the setup for another row. I can almost put four rows in front of on, in front of one fan. It's like what ninety-six phones. Yeah, I think so. It might get, yeah, I think I could put another, I'd have to make the, I was setting set up for it, but yeah, so 96 phones in front of one fan. That's not terrible. My brother's sending me a inline fan that he has. He doesn't need, it's a four inch inline fan. So I might get one of those, you've seen those air conditioners that kind of like roll around and they just like portable air conditioners. Um, they have those, pieces that go in the window and they got the duct for the exhaust. I might grab one of those when the four inch fan gets here and just pipe it in and make like a little chute to like channel the air into like a funnel and then just blow it on the phones. Cause I think it'll have more CFM. I'll test it though and just see which one's more cost effective and which one has more CFMs. But yeah, that was pretty much it. It took me quite a bit of time to put that together. I have uh It was definitely, I just had basic hand tools. So I had like a cordless circular saw, a drill, an impact. And then uh, I used like a screwdriver. Like I would just rip, I would just cut straight where the notches are. And then I would just take my screwdriver in there and just do that. And then they would pop some brakes and I just clean it up a little bit. It wasn't terrible. I filmed a bunch of it in case anybody's interested and wants to make something like this. Um, but 
you know, you, you, you could even do, I don't know. It might be, if you only have 10 phones or something, it might be cheaper just to buy what you need. If you like figure dollars per hour, like how much time you spend on it. Cause this had to have taken me like four hours. If I had a router table, I could have probably done it in like half the time I bet in a table. So as far as the wiring goes, if it works and it's decent, I'm going to spend a little bit of money and get some raw materials and I'm going to rebuild it. Uh, I did screw it up. It, it was an inch and a half wider before, but that middle shelf, I screwed up when I was measuring it and I cut it short three inches, an inch and a half on each side. So it was actually three inches wider. And, and I just was, so I had space like on the outside. So I had to cut the bottom row shorter so that I could actually still use the top shelf, you know, holder pieces. And that kind of sucked because one phone is like touching down there, but it still feels cool. So I guess it'll be okay. And then I'll just figure out the wiring. I'm going to look and see if I can't find some like 12 inch wires because this here i just recessed this wood so this thing can't slide out and i could like unplug it from the wall and just pick it up and carry it so like when the ac is on i can just pick it up and put it the fan in front of the filth the air register and then i can just have the air blowing on it so that was kind of the idea i put these out in the front even though we got to look at the ugly ass wires because I wanted the heat from that to be past the phones. I guess though, now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, I wonder if there's, a, there probably is. I could take the cords, fold it this way, run them underneath, turn the phones around and plug them in and it would probably eat up most of the cord. And I wouldn't really have to worry about it. The other thing to think about is one, when you're putting the th slots in, make sure that you're, uh, cameras like uh i put my cameras up because they don't fit but the other thing was to make sure that all the power buttons are on top because when you unplug a phone and plug it in the screen kicks on then i can just hit the power button and turn the phone screen off it's going to be a little harder to monitor but since switching to ubuntu with the cc miner i'm feeling pretty confident that it's not going to be an issue if i was still running the Veris miner this would definitely be a concern to me and I wouldn't do it. A flat layout would be better. I have to go through and number everything again because like you can see my two by fours were all numbered. It made it super seat, uh, super easy for like maintenance work. If a phone went down, I could like see it on the pool or whatever. I could just run up here, restart it. Most of the time if my phones go down though, it's because of charging. Like I, I knocked it. There's one phone not in there right there because it's got a bad charger. It's got to sit like perfect or it doesn't charge. But if you guys have any ideas, make this better and let me know. I'm all ears. So far, it seems to be working good. But if it if it keeps if it if it shows like a ten percent, I mean not a ten percent. If I see like a ten hash rate, hash rate average like increase. I'll probably pull the trigger and build like a professional version of this and just bite the bullet and buy cords just because I'm OCD and I don't like the way it looks. And I've been thinking about it now for it's been almost 24 hours since I started like the thought blossomed in my mind. And I just can't think of a good way to do anything with those wires without like curling them. And I just don't like the way that looks. I know it doesn't matter. I just don't like the way it looks. I just wanted to look clean. I just like it clean. If you guys can like the video, that would be great. I want to keep making content on YouTube. I, uh, I enjoy it. And I got nothing else better to do besides think of ideas. Oh my God, I'm tired. Think of ideas and do testing. You know, that's what I, that's the kind of stuff I like to do. My mind's built for it. But if you guys like the videos and comment on the videos, maybe we can grow this channel into something. I would appreciate it very much. If you guys got any questions or you got any ideas for me, put it down below. Let's talk it out. Let's figure out a way to make a bunch of money. All right, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Talk to you guys next time.